Welcome to the Wolf Den, and we be talking knives. Oh, welcome to Captain Day's Sport Fishing YouTube channel. So, let's get into something that I just did today. This is my Essie Avispa. Now, I wish I had a before and after picture, but I don't. But I think I'll probably try to put one in here. So you can see the difference. I did a customization today in about two hours with my Dremel tool of this Espy Avispa. It is from the basically the Ontario Knife Company. And the Avispa is the Randall's Outdoor Adventure series or something. I made what my best first attempt at what I saw a guy doing on YouTube. And I thank him very much, even though I can't remember the YouTube channel, where this had sort of a checkery pattern. And now the checkery pattern is gone, basically gone. And I did what he called a rock pattern, but different. His, his was different. I just was flying by the seat of my pants. And the big deal is, is on the back. See that? It's just a bunch of random, I don't even know what you call it. I even did the pocket clip. This was flat, boring stainless steel. Flat, boring stainless steel. It was kind of like a gray. I polished it. And look at that blade. That blade had a stone washed finish. I think it had a stone washed finish. The finish looked like this right here. If you can kind of see the difference, I I tried to mirror polish it and it it worked. It used to have this big insignia on it right here and you can kind of still see. I don't think you're going to pick it up in the camera where it literally affected the metal. But it had this big symbol here of uh, Randall's Outdoor Adventures or some expeditions or something. I, I don't I don't really even really remember what it all said. It had over here a picture of a wasp and it said a Vispa. And that's gone. Now you can practically see the camera. There's my lights. So I not only put this pattern on the outside today and put this pattern over here. I kind of call that kind of a broken glass pattern. The other guy that I was watching on YouTube, he called his the rock pattern. I call this like broken glass. But this knife is a very inexpensive knife that Aura Walk sent me, one of my major, major contributors to this channel. And I mean, it's not a heavy duty, expensive knife or anything. So I figured I'd play. I did an absolute torture test video of this knife when he sent it to me as a review. I'll link that in the video description. This is an AUS-8, AUS-8 blade. It says right there, Taiwan, AUS-8. But I even did the broken glass. I call this, see this is called jimping, okay? Here, when you buy the knife, it had that. And then I took my broken glass sort of thing and just did a real random, super heavy duty, Jimps on the back. I mean, that's rough. 
That's what I wanted. So I thought this was pretty neat. I've never tried to customize a knife or anything before. I've never done anything like that. So it worked out. So we'll leave that. We'll leave that right there. Okay. All right. How about the next thing? Well, my new deal is, is I'm really loving these knives. I'll start with this one. I have the big version. And let me, let me get that out too. Here's the big version. I did a video about this, about don't be a sissy. Don't be sissies. Don't be calling these cold steel knives too big to carry because all you need to do is get yourself one of these really nice big Gerber sheaths. This is the big holdout. This is the smallest holdout. And they used to make, they're making this one now, and they're making this one now. But there used to be a one in between. So this is the big boy. This is the presently, it doesn't even fit in the screen. This thing is 13 something inches overall. I just, now yeah, I'm not carrying this one around all the time. I mean, this thing is like 13 inches, all right? But, I'll leave that right there. These small ones, are. this is the best. This is the Holdout 3, because it's got a 3-inch blade. Pretty grimy looking. I use this thing constantly. I even tried to put a more of a mirror finish on this one. I am so loving this. This Holdout three is the best EDC knife for me. It's thin. It doesn't weigh anything. Even this doesn't weigh what you think it would because it's all lightened up with the holes and all. You know, mid lock back here. Of course, cold steel triad lock, you know, snap snap that right there look at that disappears in my hands that to me is the greatest EDC knife but there's always that but isn't there I'm not going to go into all the little particulars because I want to hit the point that I wanted to talk about Oh, G10. And I want you to take a look at this G10. Now, if you don't know, Cold Steel by Lord Lynn Thompson, he sold the knife part of Cold Steel to GSM or something, I think it's called, Outdoors. And they're doing a very fine job in staying with the Cold Steel mantra where you know they will still make these okay they still continue to have knives like this this is all g10 no liners wonderful pocket clip i have zero complaints but as i said there's that but let me show you something there was the old cold steel, right? Now there's the new cold steel, and I know what they're doing. They're taking a little bit of what people used to complain about, and they're trying to fix it. But a guy like me, I'm not one of these docker wearers, cubicle, you know, cowboys. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't mean anything to me. Right? Here is an older one, older holdout three, just like this one. Same exact knife, same exact dirty knife. Holdout, 
with the three dots, and then the old cold steel. There you go. The old cold steel logo. The new cold steel has like a knife going through it. Now, it says on this, this is the new one. They upgraded it big time. Big, big time. This is Taiwanese made S35VN. That's one of them super steels, right? That's one of them super steels. Now you take the old one here, and this doesn't even say what it is. But you look at the box, where the hell did I just put the boxes? Oh, I just had them here. All right, here's the new one. There's the new one. The new cold steel. S35VN. That's how much it weighs. 2.4 ounces. Here's the old cold steel box. I don't even think it says what it is. The, the blade steel, it doesn't even say. But this is the AUS 8, AUS 8 version. There's the difference. And you can say to yourself, well, Dave, why the heck would you want the AUS 8 version over this? It's not that I want it over it, but when it comes to an EDC, I wanted the old cold steel. Number one, look at the G10. This is much more aggressive. Much, much, much more aggressive. I like this. The docker wearers, the cubicle cowboys, always complained oh my gosh this is so rough it's a pocket destroyer with the clip being so so tight and this being so aggressive it was ruining the pocket of my dockers oh my god my pleated dockers well I don't give a crap about that stuff I actually like this is more of a Spider Co. kind of G10, which is fine. But I like the more aggressive G10. And I like the AUS 8 steel. So that's the reason why I wanted to get this one. Here is my Spider Co. Sharp Triangle Sharp Maker. I took this one with its fancy steel, the S35 VN, super steel, super steel as they call it. And I did something to the very first half inch of this blade. And this is my go-to everyday, you know, maintainer. I've got all the ceramics. This right here is the red tops. This is the ultra fine. So this with, let's say the three stones, the medium, the fine, and now the ultra fine, took me when I folded over this edge somehow, I don't even remember what the hell I was doing, but I folded over this edge and it took forever for me to go through these stones to get that edge back to factory. Well, if you don't know this already, but everybody kind of poo poos the OS 8. The OS 8 is a great steel, it is the common man's steel. There is buku knives that I have made so sharp in a AUS 8. And here's one right here. When I tested this, 
Aus 8. I beat this thing senseless against dried bamboo, green bamboo, fibrous, fibrous filter element out of a fuel filter, plastic, you name it, I beat the hell out of this. And at the end of the video, I came in, ran it through my S S Spyderco triangle sharp maker, and went <laughs> right, cut, paper, shaving sharp all over again. So the point of this whole thing is the new one, let's keep the new one on this side. The new one has the super steel. The older one, which is hard to get, hard to get, these just ain't floating around because whoever usually has them loves them, is the AUS-8 steel. And it's more of a common, everyday kind of sharpening you can do to this. And that's the reason why I wanted to get, as an EDC, the AUS-8 version. Plus, it has the more aggressive jimping or not jimping, the G10. So, you can see, I mean, even this this box is old school, kind of compared to this fancier new box. I mean, they've had these boxes for quite a while. But these are starting to get kind of like older boxes, you know. As soon as you see this box, you know it's an older version of a cold steel. So that is what I wanted to tell you about. When it comes to cold steels, or it comes to any knife that you want to carry and you want to really work it, there's nothing wrong with not choosing a knife with a super steel. This has the super steel, but there's nothing wrong with it because you can use your regular sharpener or a stone and you can bring it back to sharp in a matter of minutes this took me hours of finagling around because the the, the sharp triangle sharp maker is more of a maintainer system it's a blade maintainer and that's what i want to do so when you're if you're watching these videos and you get some steel knife snob nerd telling you well oh man aus oh yeah that's a that's a junk steel uh all my knives are s35 s45 vn and uh CTX SHP and guess what it's all this it's all talk the average person out on the street that wants to pick up a nice pocket knife pocket knife that's easy to carry that is small lightweight hey just like this one $35, not nearly as thin, you know, but still, I mean, these are running, you know, the holdout, the brand new holdouts, you can maybe get one for 78, 79, 35, 40, 45, maybe, and a Vispa, it's pretty skinny. Pretty skinny, pretty lightweight, got a big blade, but I absolutely love these holdout style knives, this one and this one, but I'll hold on to this one. Instead of hold out, I'll hold on and a daily carry will be the AUS-8 with the more aggressive. See, these are my AFCO Blue Water shorts. I got a Cordura pocket, Cordura lined pocket right here. 
and it sits right in there just like that just like that I don't even know what's there and then it sits right there next to my palm pepper spray this side right here it's got everything I need look at that I don't even notice it's there